I feel like we got a lot of lipstick in here, lots of gloss in here. Hold on, let me get a little organized because whew, we got a lot to go over today. Hey YouTube fam, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Special welcome to you and I'm so, so glad that you're here. Today's video is really, really fun and exciting. I'm gonna be sharing with you a ton of my favorite black owned lip products. So we're gonna be covering lipstick, lip gloss, and lip liners again that are all black owned so this is yes going to be a part of my ongoing black owned series here on youtube which is just basically my special way of celebrating black magic and black excellence and just literally showcasing 100 percent black owned things in terms of my preference for my lips you guys may know that i kind of am like a neutral slash brown kind of girl so there's gonna be lots of like nudes peachy nudes, brown nudes. I've also got my little chocolatey browns that are kind of like, I guess I would call that my little staple look. And then I got like two to three reds in here that I just had to throw in here as well for that rare moment where you want to like just boom, pop. So I'm really excited to get into all this. I'm not only including these in a video just because they're black owned, but I'm including them because they're black owned and they're bomb. So not only are they pretty to look at, but they're gonna be comfortable to wear and they are just going to look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm really, really excited to get into all of my favorites today. Y'all know how I get, I get really excited. But before we jump into all the fun stuff, please do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Just go ahead and make sure you also hit that notification bell so you can get notified every single time a new video drops. All right, let's go get started. I'm so excited. I'm All right, so first things first, I feel like we need to like zoom in a little bit so y'all can get a little bit more of the action. Boom. Okay, now y'all can see all the action that we got going on here. I'm just like so excited to share all of these great finds with you guys. Let's just go ahead and actually start by what I'm wearing right now. So this is just your neutral kind of chocolatey brown, but it's not as like pop boom chocolate, you know? It's got a little bit of an ombre neutral effect. So I achieved this look here by going in with my Pat McGrath lip liner. This is a very deep chocolate brown and this is the shade Ground Control. So I just went in with this lip liner first, lined all of my lips and then on top and in the middle, mostly on my lips, I went in with the Oma Beauty lipstick in the shade Angela. So I really feel like the Oma Beauty lipsticks are kind of more like a hybrid between matte and satin. They're marketed as a matte, but they're definitely way more comfortable to wear than just a traditional matte lipstick. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're not like a flat, flat matte. But I actually genuinely love that because again, it's just so much more comfortable to wear. So I really am obsessed with this combo. This lip liner is also kind of like one of those must-haves because I use it in so many different ways with so many different lipsticks. I'm about to show y'all in another look right now. All right, so just cleaned off that lip and now I'm going back in with the same Pat McGrath Ground Control Lip Liner. I'm telling you, this is like a 100% must have. I just love this. And again, there's just so many different ways that you can wear it. So here's how we're looking. As you can see, it's like a very, very deep, chocolate brown I absolutely just die every time I put it on I really really love this all right and then for the inside of the lip I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Mademoiselle lipstick in the shade single this is just like a really kind of peachy type of nude it is so so cute and it's definitely gonna offer a lot more contrast with this lip liner than the previous lipstick did. So I just focused this by applying the product towards the very middle of my lips first and then just continue smacking my lips together until I get the desired effect. I'll also go in with my finger and kind of just tap the edges to blend out any harsh edges to give that really seamless gradient, that beautiful, like flawless ombre look. Do you see that? I love this. Like that contrast is hidden right now. I feel like this is giving me a little bit of 90s vibes. I feel like that was when like the ombre lip was it. And I am living. So I've also actually been like really, really obsessed with glosses lately, especially clear gloss. I like to add a clear gloss on top of every single lip combination. So that's what we're gonna do now and I'll show you how it will kind of just change the vibe. I feel like this is really cute, it's a little bit subtle, but when you add that like juicy gloss on top, it just, I don't know, it takes it to another level. So y'all have seen on my Instagram, I have been loving the Glass Slipper by Fenty, still absolutely love it, but 
I've also now tried the Minimalist Lip Gloss by the Lip Bar, which is their version of a clear gloss, and I must say that I, I am really, really, really loving it. For the main reason that it's not as thick and it's not as sticky as the Fenty Gloss. So yeah, this is meant to be a clear gloss, but as you can see, it's gotten a little bit tainted because I have been using it. But yeah, this is their clear gloss, okay? Let's get this juice. Yes, gloss just gives me life at the moment. I'm really, really into gloss. I live for this kind of look. Honestly, I wear this very, very often. I also love gloss for the fact that it is just so comfortable to wear. This gloss in particular actually feels like lip balm on your lips too. So you don't have to worry about tainting your actual lip balms with lipstick products, but you can go ahead and taint you know, your actual lip gloss and it still feel very comfortable and actually feel like a lip balm on the lips. Like I'm loving this, I'm living for it. The little glow on the cheek with the glow on the lip. Mm, 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 mm. Especially for summer, this is it. Not even just for summer because I will be rocking this fall, winter, and next spring as well. All right, on to the next one. What else do we got here? Let's continue with some more peachy nude kind of vibes. All right, so next up, let's get into this liquid lipstick by The Glamatory. So The Glamatory is a makeup brand that is actually based in Atlanta. It is black owned and it's also female owned. So, you know, it checks all the boxes for me. And also, can we get into this color? It is such a gorgeous peachy nude. And the shade name is so cute as well. It is called Melanated. Boom! Do you see how nude this is? This is probably the most nude kind of lipstick that I actually have. Most of my nude lipsticks are more like nudie browns or like pinky nudes, but this is actually like straight up nude. It's just got this like yellow brown type of undertone and my undertone for my skin is very yellow brown. So I think that's why it reads so yellow nude on me and I absolutely love it. Let me actually show you guys what it looks like with lip gloss on top as well. I just feel like lip gloss on top of like a nude nude kind of look just makes it pop a little bit more. You see what I mean? So it's still got that nude kind of chill vibes, but it's just like got a little bit of added spice to it because it's sparkling a little bit. You know what I mean? I just love this. I feel like this lip could really go with anything. Any outfit you have in your mind, any makeup look, like this is going to go with all of it. Actually, you guys go ahead and comment below and let me know for this particular shade. This one right here, Melanated by the Glamatoy that I've got going on. Do you prefer it matte or did you prefer this with a gloss on top? Just comment below, I'm trying to see something. I'm just kind of curious to see your thoughts. All right, on to the next one. So I definitely got some more news to share with you guys. Next up, let's chat about Ginger Snap Lip Whip by Beauty Bakery. So this is just such a gorgeous, medium brown with peachy vibes like that is the best way that i can describe this color it is gorgeous so compared to the other one which was like super super yellow this one is super super peachy but i love it it is not too pinky to me it's not too corally it's just like the perfect peachy nude honestly i like to reach for this whenever i'm trying to look a little bit more girly something a little bit more different and also for summertime this is another really really great summertime shade this is another shade that would really look cute actually if you wanted to do a little ombre effect with it with that deeper lip liner that we used earlier this would also look really bomb as well and also really switch up the vibe this looks super girly but i feel like if you wanted to make it a little bit more vintagey a little bit more 90s vibes a little bit more grunge less girly then you can add that darker lip liner around it and boom like a completely different look i just this is one of the reasons why i'm so obsessed with lip products because there's so many different things you can do with combining different things and like experimenting in different ways like i just i'm here for it all i love it all right let's move on to the next one so now we're going to start moving into more chocolatey kind of brown stuff that are a little bit deeper but still not they're not vampy vibes or anything at all they're just very chocolate so first let's go in with colored rain liquid lipstick and this is in the shade bachelorette so this is a really nice brownie type of mauve kind of color that I am really, really digging. Definitely going more into that mauve reddish kind of brown, and I'm here for it. I really, really love it. I love the fact that this shade is also not too deep, so it's definitely wearable in the day, but it's also pretty wearable at night because it's still got a little bit of like a bold factor to it. Like it's not as simple and chill as a nude lipstick, 
but it's also not like as pop as like an actual chocolate brown or something even deeper. But it's that good like middle range that you can feel comfortable wearing anytime, anywhere. I really don't want to take this off. I feel like it's actually going with the whole vibe so well that I got going on with Puff, with my dark eyeshadow, and with my dark um, top. Like, I just feel like this is a vibe right now. This is a vibe. All right, moving right along. So next I'm gonna show you like an all-time OG fave. Ever since the first time I ever put this lipstick on, I fell in love, and this is going to be your chocolate brown go to that again will kind of go with every single thing but instead of it being more mauvey like the last shade we just looked at this is going to be your milk chocolate shade okay and it is gorgeous i feel like every single brown skin girl needs this lipstick in their life a thousand percent like two thousand percent this is the fenty unveil lipstick i I can't even, I can't. Like I just, the shade I feel like was made for us. It is my ultimate favorite chocolate brown and I just love how chocolatey it is. Like I said, most of my other browns as you guys have seen have run either more peachy or more mauvey, but this one is just straight up chocolate. Yeah, I'ma just, I'ma just let this talk for itself for, for a quick minute. I mean, I love this shade. When I tell you it is like one of my all time OG faves, like I will never ever go without this. This is like actually a teensy bit expired. If you guys saw my vlog where I was clearing out all of my expired lipsticks, I literally just couldn't let this one go. So I will be purchasing a new one really soon, but I definitely have to purchase that and have it in hand before I'm able to throw this away because I literally can't live without it. It is just so, so delicious. I will say that the Fenty Liquid Lipsticks applicators are also my absolute favorite. It just makes it so easy with the doe foot thing that it has, that shape just, I don't know, I feel like it makes it so easy to apply the lipstick to your lips. You don't need no lip liner, nothing. I mean, it's Fenty, so do we expect anything less from Queen Re? Absolutely not. I'm, I'm living. I'm living. <laughs> I honestly don't even want to take this off, but we got to keep going. All right, so this next shade is a very unique shade. I don't even really know what to call it, so I'm going to kind of just go ahead and put it on. Is it brown? Is it purple? I don't really know, and I'm hoping that the camera's really picking up like the uniqueness of it. On me, it is more like a purpley grayish kind of brown. <laughs> Does that even make sense? It shows up definitely with a little bit of a purpley tinge on me, but it's not like a bright berry tone. It still, to me, falls into that class of neutral. It's a little bit on the edge there, but I feel like it could still kind of get away with a little bit of the neutral vibes, just given like the tone, the overall tone of it. I don't know, I just, I love this. This also gives me some major, major 90s vibes. I mean, some big gold hoops and I'm good to go, you know what I mean? All right, on to the next one. All right, so next up, I just wanna talk about one more gloss, okay? And it is going to be the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Hot Chocolate. Now, remember how I was saying earlier, the clear gloss balm from Fenty is kind of a little bit thick and sticky? The other ones, that have color in them definitely aren't as sticky as the clear one. So I'm happy with these. I actually love, love, love these, like all of them, all the colors, but especially hot chocolate because y'all know me in browns. Like I just absolutely live for this. If you look closely, this lip gloss actually does have a little bit of shimmer in it. I usually don't like shimmer in my lip glosses, but this one is so super subtle and it just makes it look more glowy and more glossy. Boom. Just some gloss over my bare lips and it's a whole entire vibe. I absolutely love it and there's literally no wrong time at all to wear a brown glossy lip. Like there's literally no wrong time. Going to Walmart, brown glossy lip. Going to get your nails done, brown glossy lip. Going to the living room to pretend like you're going somewhere but you're really just going to the couch, brown glossy lip. Like it works for anything, anywhere, Anytime, this is a vibe. Personally, I feel like this is another one of those must-haves like in your collection, for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to our last 
lipstick of the video. All right, so I know earlier I said that I was gonna show you a couple of reds, but when I really sat down and thought about it, there is one red that I reach for every single time, one red that is just better than all of the rest, all of the time, and that is my Fenty Uncensored Stunna Lip Paint. This is the bomb.com. This is literally a universal bluish kind of red that is just the most gorgeous shade on every human being on this planet. Anybody can wear this shade and look absolutely the bomb.com. I mean, have you ever seen a more perfect red? It is not too bright, not too dark. It is everything that I have ever wanted in a red lipstick and it just gets me together every single time. I don't wear red lipstick very often because I do see red lipstick as like a pop. So I like to reserve it for those rare moments where I'm like, all right, time to show out. And this, is showing out and this is the reason why I couldn't show you any other red lipsticks here because we're talking about my favorites and I feel like although I do have some other red lipsticks that I do love this is my favorite and they don't come close to this one because I will choose this one every single time all right so that is basically it those are all of my current like top genuine close to my heart favorites lip products that are black owned. I would also love if you guys would comment some of your like holy grail black owned lip products down below as well because I would really love to check those out as well. I'm going to be constantly expanding and buying black as much as possible so please share the wealth, give me all the tea and I will definitely be spending my coins for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you found this enjoyable. If you did, go ahead and give your girl a thumbs up. And also, if you didn't subscribe in the beginning, you got one more chance, and then you can check out these next two videos. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.